Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I definitely have a surprise video for you today. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, how do you put feathers on skirts or is it layered, is it fabric and I'm going to show you my trick on how to sew feathered trim. Look how beautiful this is. I cannot wait. Look at all these feathers. Oh my god. I got 10 yards of this feathered trim. And I already cut out my skirt for the bottom. It's a neoprene fabric. And I'm going to layer these to the point where you guys are going to think that I bought the fabric just like this. So it's going to be a quick video. And I hope that you guys take this, take notes, and actually make your own. So let's go. Okay, guys. Like I said before, I already previously cut out my basic skirt. It is your basic skirt with your darts, of course. And the next thing I'm going to do, let me lower this down for you so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. The next thing I'm going to do is see how far down do I want the feather. These are the feathers. And the feathers are about, so let me just make sure before I give you the wrong information. These feathers are three inches in length. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to place the feathers down to see if I want it at the bottom or if I want to start a little bit above. And I'm going to start it a little bit above. I'm going to start it maybe about an inch and a half above. And the process is pretty easy. What you're going to do, you're going to layer. So you're going to sew this layer, then sew the next layer, sew the next layer, and sew the next layer. So I'm going to actually flip one of these trims over so you guys can see what it would look like before you actually sew it because you don't want to sew and then make a mistake. So this is what it will look like <laughs> if it was layered. And you will continue this process all the way until you get up until the waist. Now it's up to you. You can do maybe one white, one black, one purple. You can do all white. It's really up to you. But the process of this garment is to actually make sure you guys layer your trims properly and make sure each layer has the same amount of space in between. If not, it will look kind of wonky, but it's pretty easy. All you're going to do is just layer and sew, place, layer and sew, and place, layer and sew. And like I said before, you're going to continue to do that as layers up until you get until the waist. Okay, guys, here's another quick tip. When working with feather trim, what I've realized is that when you're actually sewing along the trim, some of the feathers can actually get caught up into your needle, which is pretty bad because then your needle gets all rusty and it's hard to sew. So what you're going to do, if you can, is just make sure that your needle is all the way at the top. Make sure that your needle is all the way at the top of your trim, which is right here. The closer you get to the feathers, the, the you know, the easier your feathers are going to actually get caught up into your needle and then you have to move your, your feathers out the way and continue to sew, which is pretty hard, but we're actually going to start sewing now. And like I said, I have neoprene. It's a stretch neoprene. So what I'm going to do so that it can actually fit me or one of my clients, as I'm sewing, I'm going to pull the neoprene. Sorry. Let me actually put the needle inside. I'm actually going to pull the neoprene just a little bit so that I know for a fact that it's going to fit my client and that it won't be too tight. And take your time. Go as slow as possible, okay? And continue to move the feathers out the way. Out the way. Always make sure the feathers aren't on this side. Well, it depends if you're left-handed or right-handed. I'm a righty. As you guys can see, I use my right hand a lot. And at the same time, I'm pulling the neoprene and I'm holding down the trim at the same time. And again, the feathers are on the opposite side. So I'm not, you know, getting into the feathers as much. And already, a feather is inside my needle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just slowly move that out the way. Put my hand down on the feathers and continue to sew so I won't have that problem again, okay? Trust me, it will happen to all of us. Another thing I want to tell you guys is that please make sure you guys choose the right feathers. Of course, the best feathers are ostrich. But at the moment, I did not have ostrich uh, money. Uh, these feathers here, 
These were $10 a yard. Since I bought more than six yards, you get a deal. So these were $8 a yard and I only got 10 yards. Now I'm only going to use the feathers for the bottom of this skirt, but if I do have extra feathers, I will definitely add this to the second piece of this garment. I'm really not sure yet, but like I said before, make sure you guys choose the right feathers. The wrong feathers can either make or break your garment. Choosing the right feathers can separate your garment from looking really tacky and cheap or making it look, look very expensive and elegant. So remember that as well. Really up to how you create the garment and it's really up to how you make it work. Okay, so also this part here is where my zipper is going to go. So dealing with the skirt, I cut out my skirt, I do my darts and then I don't do the hem. I save the hem for last. If you guys can see, this is where my zipper is going to go. And I'm going to cut the trim right here so that I still have enough to put my zipper. And I'm going to cut these feathers. Make sure you cut your thread and not the feathers. You don't want feathers all over the place. See? Just like that. And this empty space right here that I left is going to be for the zipper. See? Perfect space with enough space to add the zipper. Okay? This is the first layer. And now what you have to do, you will have to you will have to continue this process. So layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4. It may take you 10 layers. It depends on how full you want the garment. It depends on how not full you want the garment. I don't want this to be full. I just want it to look right. And I have 10 yards. So we are definitely going to see um, how many yards this takes. And I will let you guys know as soon as I finish. Okay, so right now we are on the second layer of adding this trim. I absolutely can't wait to try this on. And you can add feathers anywhere, on your sleeves, on pants. Just don't get too tacky with the feathers. You don't want to look like a bird. Literally a bird. Okay, that is layer number two. I honestly think it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Around seven or eight layers. Which is hell of a lot. So I'm pretty, I'm actually thinking I may not have enough layers to add to my second garment. But we shall see. See? second layer and we're gonna continue to finish people okay guys so we are now five layers in and let me tell you I'm so over this skirt already like <laughs> I'm not over it like I'm loving how it's coming out it's just a process like this is the bottom part and it looks amazing but I still have to finish maybe about one two about three more layers I'm definitely 100% sure that this is going to be a great, a great, great, great dress, but the process is just so damn long. But once I finish with the next three layers, I will definitely show you the skirt, and I'm telling you, it's going to be freaking awesome. Hey guys, I am back and I finally finished the bottom part to this skirt and it looks amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Everything is spaced out properly. It's like the bomb. But anyway, like I promised you, I'm going to count how many layers and see how many layers I have on this skirt. So there's one layer, two layer, three, four, there's five, there's six. So this skirt took exactly seven layers to make. And like I said, I bought 10 yards and each row was a little bit less than a yard. So I think I actually, you know, bought enough yards and they're pretty good. And for those of you who was watching my, um, my how to sew bias tape video, this top is actually this uh, garment. Let me zoom up a little bit. You guys see that? So if you haven't seen the first video yet on how to sew bias tape, 
please watch that video first and then come back and watch this one second and then you guys can actually see the whole uh, garment being made as one okay guys so I took the skirt off of the mannequin and this is what the skirt looks like after everything is finished and sewn I do see some issues where I need to fill in some feathers so what I'm gonna do is just lift up where I want to continue to sew and add more feathers I'm gonna insert the feather trim right in here so it can be a little bit more full and you can do that as well once you're finished with the skirt see something you don't like just go back and fill it in and that's exactly what I'm gonna do because if I'm not happy with the garment my clients won't be either but this garment is not for a client this is for my collection so it has to be on point okay guys I have finished this nice feather trim layered skirt it came out amazing look how beautiful that looks just awesome and it moves perfectly so I hope you guys learned a lot from this video like I said before there's feather trim you will need you need a base fabric and definitely make sure that your thread matches the fabric and the lining you can definitely <coughs> excuse me find the feathers at B&Q fabrics look below in the description box I will also include the store's website make sure you guys check out the elastic bias tape video so you can see what the top of this dress will be and then you can put two and two together and if you want to follow up on this outfit please follow me on Instagram at classic royalty and if you want a sneak peek to see what this dress will actually look like in a couple of seconds go to my snapchat at classic royalty D as in David and thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video Mwah.